Good evening all. Welcome to my channel. This is Dr. B. Tulasi working as Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Vignans Nerola Institute of Technology and Sciences for Women. Palakulur. Coming to the assignment 5 of Indust Introduction to Industry 4.0 and uh, Industrial Internet of Things. The first question is which of the following is one of the IIRA viewpoint, business viewpoint, usage viewpoint, functional viewpoint, all of the above. Answer is all of the above. Which of the following is not part of smart factory? Machine condition monitoring, machine performance prediction, machine failure forecasting, goods transportation. Machine performance prediction. Which of the following is a challenge faced in outcome based model? Reduced risk, lack of proven business model, profit margin, customer satisfaction, lack of proven business model. Which of the following features are part of precision agriculture? Real-time tracking of agricultural equipment, remote tracker navigation, aerial monitoring of agricultural fields, all of the above. Real-time tracking of agricultural equipment. Which of the following is not a type of revenue stream in business model? Transaction revenues, recurring revenues, reduced revenues, all of the above. Answer is reduced revenues because transaction revenues and recurring revenues are the part of revenue streams. Which of the following are categorized as a resource in a business model? Human, financial, intellectual, all of the above. Answer is all of the above. What are the value propositions in a service-oriented business model? Utilization of data, analysis of data, aggregation of data, all of the above. Answer is all of the above. What are the outcomes of process-oriented business model? Reduced down times, increased machine availability, both A and B, none of the above. Answer is both A and B. Which of the following is a feature of the cloud-based business model? A. Customers purchase software and platforms. Customers lease cloud computing resources. Customers share their resources with cloud all of the above. Answer is customers lease cloud computing resources. What are the viewpoints in, in the IIRA framework? Collection of ideas to describe a specific concern. Collection of ideas to analyze a specific concern. Collection of ideas to solve a set of specific concern. D. All of the above. Answer is all of the above. Which of the following is a type of KPI? Leading KPI, lagging KPI, both A and B, none of the above. Both A and B. What is the function of a data bus? In a layered data bus pattern in IIRA. It communicates between applications and devices. It allows interoperability between endpoints. Minimizes the response time with the faster device-to-device -device interaction all of the above. Answer is all of the above. What are the different elements of an activity in user's viewpoint? Trigger workflow edge constraints. Time work effect constraints. Task work edge constraints. Trigger workflow effect constraints. The option is trigger workflow effect constraints. The business model of functional viewpoint represents a set of functions which handles supporting business process, procedural activities, both A and B, none of the above, both A and B. Activity in a user's viewpoint is defined as coordination of specific tasks, basic unit of work, both A and B, none of the above. Coordination of specific tasks. It can be a basic unit of work. Basic unit of work is nothing but a task. So the answer is coordination of specific tasks. Okay, this is regarding the unit fine. And uh, I want to share one more important thing that is uh, coming to the exams. So the registration is open. Uh, you need to register for the exam and you need to pay a, a fee of a thousand rupees. And uh, last date to pay fees is October 28th. So you can uh, pay the fee after October 28th also till November 2nd. But the fee will be 1500. If you pay before October 28th, your fee will be only 1000 rupees. So there is also a chance of 50% fee waiver when the student belongs to SCST category or a uh, uh, student belonging to the PWD category with more than 40% disability. Okay, so I request you all to register before October 28th. Thank you so much. Subscribe my channel for more updates.